well, I'm in Texas. Waiting on Parrick. Parrick's picking me up from the airport. He just texted me that he was two minutes away, and then like 30 seconds later, he said that he got pulled over. Uh, so that'll be an interesting story to see why. I'm sure he vlogged it. He's kind of the type of guy to whip out a camera as soon as he gets pulled over by the cops just to get that type of like clickbait video. Totally kidding. Um, so I'm waiting here. I flew in this morning. I had a 6 a.m. flight out of Nebraska. Got in from Kansas yesterday. Stayed in Nebraska just basically overnight and then flew to Texas. And I'm gonna go fishing with Parrick today. Uh, I think we're gonna go hit, we're gonna hit a lake I've never been to. I didn't bring any tackle, any rods. I heard the new favorite six sticks are in and my mystery tackle box came in. So I flew down here to test out the new favorite rods, to use whatever base we're in the mystery tackle box, to try to catch some fish. So that's what we're doing today. Parrick should be here soon. Should be interesting. I literally got pulled over. Guy let me off too. He did? He was like, he was like I appreciate the honesty. Were you, fly, were you just flying? 78 and a 50. <laughs> 78 and a 50? Are you nuts? I was, I was swooping in and out of traffic and didn't use my blinker. Did you tell him like you're late to like I, catch I, a flight or something? No, I told him I was late to pick up a business client. So that was the corn. The corn's done? Corn's good, dude. Corn's planted and watered and oh, ready to harvested. go. harvested. It's spring. You don't harvest in the spring. I said there was an early harvest. Oh, okay. So All we right. Have, we have some... You excited? Yeah, well, uh, picked up the new boat. Got the, got the old uh, Hella Kitty boat. Would you, did you screw up the motor? Did you do that? Okay. Oh, <laughs> you start off with okay. God dang, let's get a shark. Got a hold of that. Made it to the MTB crib. We uh, it's only 9:30 right now, and we're going fishing at like we're gonna leave here around one. Parrick wants to film a couple videos. Gonna help him do that and uh, take care of other business stuff. I haven't been to this house. It feels like in years. So I'm gonna kind of just. Just chill, kind of soak it, soak. Did you do something in my room? Oh God, I gotta check my, I'll take you guys in my room. We'll see, we'll see what the old El Perique did. But we're gonna go inside the MTB crib here, get uh, get all my new favorite rods rigged up and uh, grab the mystery tackle box and go catch some fish. First, first things first, John's fly kicks. These things are, these are pretty sick. What else we got? We got, what, what did we get anything cool? Oh! oh Look at these. Oh, this is what I, this is what I flew from Nebraska for. Is all these? Here's our bills. We've got three bills now. Oh, that's good. And they're all due. Oh, okay. So we got pay bills. Pay bills. We got MTBs. No. Oh, that one guy made that. Yeah. He sent it to Roz P.O. Look at this. Look at that. We don't know where we're gonna put it, but we need to put it somewhere. That's awesome, we Nebraska brew. Like oh, dude, it's a bottle opener. That's yeah. so dope. Oh, that's a prayer. Oh, fisherman's prayer, aka Flair's prayer. Lord grant me this. Serenity to accept the size of the fish. I catch the courage not to lie about it and the wisdom to know that none of the Guggen squad would believe anyway. <laughs> Amen. Dude, that is the sickest I thing. Know. What's in my room? I'm nervous. What is this? Oh my god, what the hell? What is this? Where did you get all <laughs> that? was all John, but that was me. It's it's so good to be home. Why is that funny? Because you're never here. <laughs> so here are the rods. Do you, you leave me any? They're all there. Oh. Okay. So here's the Some new. Some of those are mine, though. The new rods. Let's do a quick unboxing. So do we have more. So for those of you guys that don't know, I'm sure you guys do know because I know he's mentioned it. Myself, him, and Rob helped design these, uh, the rods and the reels, and we wanted to make a hundred. Is 150 right? Yeah. Like. We want to make a $150 combo, really good $150 combo for you guys, because that's like the most common question is, you guys want a good rod meal combo for like $150. Which is hard, because it's nobody, really hard to do. Nobody makes an $80 reel like No. This. Like they also have to put in perspective, a Shimano Corrado is $130. This is $80, so that's almost yeah. half the price. 80 bucks for the reel, and it, how much is it for the rod alone? $100. So it's $129 for the rod. An 80 for the reel, but a combo 150. Yeah. That's you guys can do the math. I'm not ever, I'm not really good at math, but so it's, you guys it's can do the math. It's 200 and you get for 150. Yeah. So $50 off the combo. Look at me, look how organized I am. Look how sick these these things are freaking sick looking. So we're gonna I'm gonna test this out. I haven't I have I mean I've tested like the prototypes out, but not like the finished product. So let's guys I'm gonna link this down below too. There's gonna be a lot of links down below. But you guys, if you guys want these, like I said, it's fifty dollars off the combo if you guys are looking for a new new uh New bait caster combo, and they have spinning stuff and all that good stuff. So, anyways, next time, next time I pick up the camera, we're hopefully gonna be headed to the lake. Two hours later. Okay, so I've got the March MTB Pro. Now I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions. Flair, why are you using Mystery Tackle Box now? Now, 
here's kind of the story behind all that. Most of you guys know that we have the MTB crib, which is the MTB house, the Guggen Squad house down in Texas. Now, one of my goals uh, for 2017 was to move to Texas. I live in Nebraska, and Nebraska's cool, love it, except for the fishing sucks. And uh, Texas pretty much is awesome. And of course, Rob lives there, and we fish there a lot. And that was my goal, you know, move to Texas, at least have a, a second house, a home in Texas, some place to stay so I don't have to sleep on Rob's couch every time I'm down there. And Mr. Tacklebox stepped forward to support myself and the entire Guggen squad as a whole. And that's why I partnered with them in 2017. So, you know, they work with myself, John B, Perrick, and Rob, uh, and they support what we do. They really do. They Without them, we would not have the MTB crib, the Guggen squad house. So that's why I'm using Mr. Tacklebox. And so I know a lot of you guys are going to comment that. So that's why I just want to get that clear. So I, I didn't get a ton of comments about it, but I'm going to just use the baits in this box and see if I can catch fish today. Not good conditions, cold and windy and rainy, but you never know. You never know it's bass fishing. Sometimes, sometimes a bass ad kind of funny. If you guys want to try Mystery Tackle Box out, use promo code FLAIR. You get 10 bucks off your very first Mystery Tackle Box. So if you guys want to try it, you want to see what it's all about, use promo code FLAIR. I'll link it down below and uh, you get 10 bucks off your first purchase. So, Peric, he's up there. We got to put the plug in because we didn't put the plug in and this boat's about to sink. So I'm starting off with a little little creature bait, a little Texas rig. Normally if I was by myself and it's windy and cloudy, I'd be throwing a kind of a reaction bait, but Peric's gonna be throwing a bladed jig. And so I, I wanna throw something different. That way I can pick up the fish that maybe aren't quite as active that he might not have caught. Um, I might go to a spinner bait a little bit or uh, there's a couple crank baits and jerk baits in the Mr. Tackle box. But we're just gonna kinda see. We're just gonna kinda see where these fish are, see if we can locate them. And uh, we got, we got about three hours of fishing left. It's kind of cold out here, though. So we're hoping we can... Uh, we got more than three. We got more than three? What time does it get dark? Oh, it gets dark at 7.30. We're, we're good. We got plenty of time. Okay, peric has got two fish. Let's see what else is in the mystery tackle box. We got a spinner bait. So peric has got two fish on a chatter bait. And I, like I said, I'm slowing down. I'm going to see if I can throw more of a reaction bait now. Uh, I wanted to kind of mix it up, but he's Peric's just absolutely crushing them. So we're going to see if the lead of spinner bait, it's cloudy and it's windy. This is like ideal 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 conditions for chatter baits and spinner baits and when the water's this color it's kind of stained a little bit and overcast usually like a chartreuse and white and gold blades something like that usually something like that usually does pretty well so i'm gonna tie this tie this little little spinner bait on and see if we can catch a few fish like i said peric's caught in plenty of fish you want to see his video his uh it'll be up on his channel There's one. one. Yeah, yep, dude, it's a pig, it's a pig. We're good, I'm water skiing and we're good. Okay, it's not as big as I thought, but he'll take it. There you go. All right, first fish, mystery tackle box fish on the old spinner of bait. Check that fish, I'm gonna toss him back, assuming <laughs> assuming this isn't gonna be in our top five. All right, Greg, <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for munching the old spinner bait. See you, bud. You were throwing this exact one. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I caught so many of them. Yep, yep, little guy. All right, that's the second cast of the old creature bait. We got doubles? Oh, oh I saw it, I saw it, Peric just had one. There we go. That's the second fish for me. Just a little squeak, squeak McGee. That's a little creature bait though, so. Peric just lost a fish. We're gonna, we're gonna keep on going and, and we might be onto something. We might be kind of just fishing the wind with the reaction baits, like spinner baits and stuff. And then in the calm, fishing, fishing more of a, a subtle presentation. One. Yep, that's a better one. Keep it down. It's a good one. There we go, finally. God, these fish fight hard. Hey, buddy. There we go. Look at that fish. You got one? Oh, we're doubled up. I got a flare fish, though. You got a flare fish? Oh, he did get a flare fish. So I'm throwing... Throwing that little creature bait out of the MTB. Dude, that's a three. That's a fat son of a gun, dude. Yeah, that's a three, and this is a flare fish on Senko. Yep, so you can see the difference. Flare fish, three pounder. See you later, Karen. There's one little guy. Those little dudes are up in those rocks. We're kind of figuring this, this dam out is, if you throw right up against the rocks, you usually catch these little dinkers. The little bigger, the bigger guys are kind of a little bit farther out. I don't know what they're doing if they're spawning or whatnot, but. That's just that's just what Perrick and I have kind of noticed fishing the dam is little dudes are shallow. You can get your bait a little bit deeper in front of in front of a big chica, and that's 
That's where you're catching them fish. There he is. Yep. Little guy. Little guy. Anytime I come to Texas, I always bring the Nebraska brutes with me. He's going out. I'm just gonna pitch right in this real quick. Just in case. But I think our best bet's out on that flat for a big one. Not bad. Come here, buddy. Yeah, that's a good fish. I just picked up that creature bait again as Perrick and I make, made our way right where that tree is. Just kind of back in this cut, and I just reached down and grabbed this first flip. So I think that's a pretty good sign. Catching, catching some more fish. Uh, see you later, Steven. All right, all right, easy. So Perrick's going to do a live stream. He's going to try to catch some fish. I'm going to end the video here in just a bit. I'm going to actually show you what, what else was in the mystery tackle box. So I didn't really do a formal unboxing and uh, I'm still not going to do a formal unboxing. I'm just going to kind of show you what, what was else was in there. We caught some fish though. So, so one of the baits that caught some decent fish was a Janko fishing spinner bait. That was the one, this little, little chartreuse and white. And I was throwing that anytime it was pretty much windy and uh, it, it, it's sunny now. So you guys might be kind of wondering, yeah, it got sunny. It was cloudy though. And then the other bait that came into play was this little net bait, baby pat, baby mad paca. And I'll show you what that thing looks like. It's basically just a little creature bait. And I had that thing Texas rigged. So those were the two baits that I caught the most fish on. The other baits that were in, you taking a nap? That's good. The other baits that were in there were these little real deal shads by Big Bite Baits. Then we've got a little live target crawfish crankbait right there. And then a uh, Z-Man Shroom's finesse jig and a Z-Man's Crust Ease, which is basically like a little trailer for, for the, uh, the little. So if it wasn't quite so mossy, I would definitely would have gone with this on the dam, but it's just so much grass, you couldn't really do a whole lot. And then we've got Dibble Digest. You guys can see there. Oh, and a uh, Bagley Minnow B04. It's uh, just a little little jerk bait. This is everything that came in the box here, everything that's on, on the card. And uh, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, the Dibble, Dibble's Digest. That's pretty much it for, for what was in the box. Caught plenty of fish. Parrot caught a lot of fish too. He made a separate video. Um, of him just catching a bunch of big fish and now he's gonna go live i'm gonna hold i'm gonna be the cameraman for his live show he's gonna try to put on a little clinic for uh for the all you youtubers and like i said if you want to watch his video that he filmed today uh, i'll leave his channel down below i'm sure he'll have it up by the time i have this video up and then later tonight we might actually do a challenge i'm not sure uh what challenge we're gonna do we're gonna try to come up with something to I do i want to do the hot pepper challenge but he won't do it he wants to do a hot pepper challenge i'm not a huge fan of hot peppers uh, yeah, let's so, not do that. So, <laughs> no, you know what? You're backing out already? Okay. So we're not sure what we're going to do. Maybe you can comment down below what challenges, uh, just for future videos you guys yeah, want to yeah, see. Yeah, comment below so we can check them out 20 years from now when we uh, film this video tonight. Yeah, but for future reference. Okay. Yeah. So if you want, if you guys have any cool, con or any, uh, any cool contest, any competition stuff, let, let me know down below. So if you want to miss your tackle box, promo code FLAIR, 10 bucks off your first box. And I tested out the favorite six sticks. And they obviously worked. And if you really want to see how they work, like I said, his video, he caught a lot of, lot of big fish. And uh, they all worked really well. I mean, we caught, we caught a ton of fish today. It was a great day. I'll leave the link down for the, the new six sticks down below as well. I'm going to do here. Thank you so much for watching and peace. You guys just missed a Peric moment. He just threw his rod to the back of the deck. I'm sorry I can't show you this. I'm kind of busy trying to, trying to land this fish. But he, he, just, launched, he just launched a rod to the back of the boat. What is going on?